So here we have HCl plus BaOH2 yields BaCl2 plus H2O. I've written all of the atoms that show up in this equation, and we're going to try to get them to be the same on each side. So let's start out with the hydrogen. We have one chlorine, we have one barium, we have one, and the oxygen, we have two of these. We have one times the two, so we have two oxygens. And I made a mistake here because I have the one hydrogen, and I need to count these hydrogens as well. So two times the one, I have two more. So I have a total of three hydrogens. Over on the product side, we'll keep them in the same order as we have here. Hydrogens, two. Chlorines, two. Barium, one. Oxygen, one. So we'll start by, let's deal with the chlorines because that's pretty easy to fix. I have two here and one here. I can put a two in front of the HCl. Now I have one times two. That'll give me two chlorines. And now I need to update the hydrogens here. So now I have the one times the two, two hydrogens plus, remember this two here, two times this, two times one, two hydrogens. So I have four hydrogens. So I fixed the chlorines. Hydrogens are a little off. Why don't we fix the hydrogens here? We have two and four. So we'll put a coefficient of two in front of the water. Now I have hydrogens, two times two. That gives me four hydrogens. Those are fixed. We have one times the two, and that ends up balancing the entire equation. We have four hydrogens on each side, two chlorines, one barium, and two oxygens. So we're done. That's the balanced equation for hydrochloric acid plus barium hydroxide yields barium chloride plus H2O water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.